Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Tuesday, number 23 day for the month of August 2022. My name na Kapo Daniel. I am the Deputy Defense Chief of the Ambazonian Defense Forces and the spokesman of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Pass King, una own countryman. Una welcome to our daily podcast. This one na a program where we bring una meaningful information, the truth, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the freedom and independence of Ambazonia. Good citizens of Ambazonia, we we'll start today with the images of the burnt, burning down of the Presbyterian Secondary School in Mankon. It will be now for morning time, for country Sunday, for Monday, for Atuakum neighborhood day for Insta Bamenda, capital city of the Savannah State, where unknown gunmen they be stormed into the PSS Mankon, then burn down the village, the, the school, destroying properties of the school campus. We condemn this attack. We dissociate ourselves for this attack and we will bring you uh, preliminary information from our investigation as uh, the War Council will declassify it. And we want to tell the teachers and the students of all religious institutions and private institutions that have been awarded the status of community school that we stand by them and the Amazonian Governing Council support education of our people. We have banned Cameroon government schools in Ambazonia and the target of Ambazonian fighters to stop an end of alien education and institution should be focused on the Cameroon government institutions. We are going to bring you full details about the burning of this school and uh, measures taken in place to make sure that we can protect our community school from sabotage attack and attacks such as this. Unfortunately, at this moment, I cannot provide with you our preliminary assessment of the situation and information about this particular incident because of uh, ongoing uh, in consultation as well as a uh, final report from our commanders on the ground. Back to the Atlantic state for our capital for Insaboya, our population, they receive few reprisal attack as Cameroon terrorist occupation forces together with uh, Chief uh, Moja Moja with a contingent of Cameroon vehicles, huge in number, they then continue the atrocity for Insaboya. They target innocent civilians then as a reprisal attack for Ambazonian actions for enforce the ghost town with the, for every Monday for Boya. Cameroon occupation forces, they don't do mass arrests for instance, Bitinge market, for instance, Boya market, market uh, center. They run Kakash people, then they seize their things and for market, they, they go for go pay money before they, they take them. Trader, they don't report for paying up to 30 to 30 to 50,000 before they, they release their cargo them from uh, Cameroon occupation forces. For inside uh, Munia, we don't also get report for Cameroon, their harassment with the so-called Kale Kale. They, they get into people, their private property, break into house, collect money for people, their mobile phone, the kidnapping of ransom, and for ransom by Cameroon occupation forces, it the intensify for inside the Atlantic state. We call our people for all Atlantic states for be on alert and for prepare themselves for such eventual Cameroon harassment and humiliation. We must stand up, we must collaborate and fight against this occupation that has brought us nothing but shame, humiliation and taken away from us the one thing most dear to our existence, our dignity. Agawan foresees this opportunity as well for, for, for inform our people and for send out a cautionary warning to all Ambazonian eternal rivals and eternal opposition to the Ambazonian Governing Council. They have been used and compromised by their desire for power and which not to only oppose everything the governing council does, but also to try to bring them down at all costs 
even when that directly affects Ambazonian projection. Our taxation policy and every policy we have ruled out to promote Ambazonia and to fight for our independence have been undermined by internal rivals and opposition within Ambazonia. Opposition groups must be responsible and patriotic and put Ambazonian first and our flag first in their criticism and rivalry as we move forward and provide the leadership for our liberation movement. I would want to call out Comrade John Baakuru of the consortium for his support of faceless individuals who have targeted officials and their family members and property in Ground Zero as a means to intimidate them and to compensate for their lack of argument and common sense in pushing counterary revolutionary agenda in our liberation struggle. The Ambazonian Governing Council have said that our schools and community schools will resume and continue their activity as it was last year. And any changes that will be made will be made subsequently. In the push to support internal rivals and opposition, John Ba Akuru and other activists in Ambazonia have supported a group of forces, faceless individuals on the ground, who in their blind attempt to undermine our authority have not only threatened the basic foundation of our oppression, as a liberation struggle but have undermined the independence of our country by seeking to change the date of school start this year to 1st of october which is a day our students who were supposed to be in school were supposed to be organized to celebrate our national day such reckless decisions and their support by ambazonians in the diaspora only give blind empty check and push on intended consequences of rook forces to carry out mass atrocities that will turn our population against our struggle. It is the support of, of individuals who simply just want to counter everything the ADF does that unintendedly will push an agenda of faceless individuals, misguided individuals who are listening to Cameroon minders and influencers to push policies that the Cameroon government want to push on the ground. These are some of the consequences of giving these boys who are faceless, who lack structure for common sense policies to be put in place to maximize our chance for resistance and liberation. We know that the Cameroon intelligence is working hard to influence Ambazonian soldiers who lack political leadership to institute in Ambazonia a complete ban of education. Even though these things may make sense to these soldiers, it will be counterproductive for our liberation struggle by continuing enforcing faceless individuals with no political open political leaning you indirectly endorse in power and promote such reckless decisions to be taken in the name of ambazonians on the ground that would end up destroying our struggle this is one of such of the consequences that i'm going to put forth to you ambazonian to listen to now policy that is being pushed by these faceless individuals the burning of PSS Mankon is a direct result of people in the diaspora who for political reasons are scavenging for political relevance by pushing our soldiers to go away and walk away out of institutions that is meant to serve them, even to the extent of cutting political leadership in the diaspora, which is also an agenda being backed by the Cameroon government. What a shame that individuals for political reasons and power who seek to undermine legitimacy at the expense of Ambazonian independence and effectiveness in prosecuting this our revolution. Listen to one of the audios that is being pushed by one of these individuals and soldiers that have faceless individuals influencing them on the ground. Listen. Yeah, I'm a park Kevin. I don't sound one of this talk. I thank all for the Benza house. We will not see reasons for say any Catholic Presbyterian Baptist mission. We go open school in Ambazonia. You don't violate and disrespect the life of, of our fellow heroes where they don't die. And our fellow um, um, Amazonian citizens where they don't die. The way they prison they suffer. They want the way they go under serious torture for French Cameroon dungeons. We be denied schools for officially open because of the reasons 
for marginalization and they want to condemn our school educational system. So I advise all generals, commanders, field marshal for a various area of command. Make we be very careful not tolerate any official school opening inside Saudi Cameroon. There will no school official open inside Saudi Cameroon where bullets, guns are flying everywhere. There must be ceasefire negotiations before any school open inside Cameroon. In Ambazonia, sorry. So the school for all Ambazonian people, them, my dear fighters. Now that the time for we for come together, we reason, we fight this fight before General Assembly for September for United Nations. Meet the whole Ambazon and the boil, make it the boil in the level way. It go be beyond the enemy it reach. So, why the intention of our soldiers may be good, it takes two heads and more for us to make proper decision it takes institutions to make proper decision decisions institutions who have track record of pursuing public interests in this matter the ambazonian governing council have just do, done just that for the past three years and even right for when general bar ivor was was still alive we we gave birth and we worked very hard to institute our own community school our soldiers and the ambazonian people should know that it is for the interest to honor our soldiers who have paid the ultimate price. And the solution for our school ban against Cameroon school is not to completely ban Amazonian school. There have been misconceptions that have been promoted unknowingly by people who don't know that this dangerous ideology that have emitted from the IG will destroy our, our liberation struggle. We can never ban education outrightly. Even in Ukraine, schools are going on in the middle of war, a conventional war. The solution for school ban and the end of Cameroon educational institution in Ambazonia is the community school. As you have heard from with your own ears, the intention of these people is not just to change the date of school opening in Ambazonia, community school opening. It is to stop community school and to target the Catholic Church and other religious institutions for the merely facts that they have opened community schools for our children. The Ambazonian Governing Council is engaged with the international system to be able to get certification and internationally recognize Ambazonian community school certificates and to have direct support of international educational institution for Ambazonian community schools. For those who think that by supporting faceless individuals on the ground and use them to challenge the authority and undermine the leadership of the Ambazonian Governing Council and Dr. Cho Lucas Ayaba and his officials, that they are doing so to gain traction and to gain steam politically within Ambazonian circles, they are actually destroying the very independence and our chance to attend that independence and that recognition of our sovereignty and territorial integrity by their actions. John Ba Akuru and all Ambazonian activists who seek to use self-defense to gain political leadership or to endorse their ideologies or what they want, they are choosing the wrong path. Self-defense is only for liberation. The motivation should never be political. Once you go political, it will implode, it will be counterproductive for our common interest and goal for independence. John Bakuro should be reminded that when the Swiss offered to present themselves as negotiator, he came out to declare that he does not support armed struggle. Individuals like that can never be competent in managing self-defense. We know of his creation of the group called Psalms 23, where soldiers in Bamenda and many other places were lured into this chat group where he furthered his agenda and sent money to soldiers directly undermining leadership of those who have put in place command and control structure that will maintain discipline for those soldiers. What have become of Psalms 23? Have they made any assessment of all those soldiers who were there and have been compromised? The same experiment have been done over and over again in Ambazonia. Any group or any political group that seeks to indulge in self-defense, it should not only be to prop them up politically, but it should be for defensive purposes and liberation purposes. Every time you support a move by individuals simply because they challenge another organization, not because they are challenging the enemy, you will not succeed 
you will shoot us on our leg. We are all one, all of us, and we should be patriotic in our internal opposition rules and in our rivalry. We should put Ambazonian first and take decisions, not because we want to compare or compete amongst ourselves, but because we want to be more effective against a common enemy. So those who support to change the date of school start this year in community school to 1st of October, have they even think about the impact on our National Day celebration and how it will undermine the celebration and organization of that Independence Day that is supposed to showcase Ambazonian self-determination and identity as a people? Have they considered that by in endorsing faceless individuals who are reckless and making declarations that are contrary to our liberation movement and basic ethics to threaten officials, do they know they are giving these boys endorsement for what they have in their heart? Do they even know these soldiers? Do they even know their agenda? Are they even taking the responsibility to monitor these units that they support? Do they even know the history of these boys? We cannot be reckless with the life of 8 million people and the destiny of an entire nation. I call upon John Baakoro and every Ambazonian activist out there who are doing their best to fight to liberate our country in good faith to not divert from our common interest, which is to free our homeland. Despite our differences, let us debate and let us be careful when it comes to self-defense with what we support and what we endorse. The unintended consequences are very deeper than the eyes can see. This same message goes to all those who are claiming to be fostering unity on Ground Zero. Unity should be to bring forces to collaborate. It should never be a strategy to undermine other groups or other forces. Even when we disagree with them, history has shown that even the worst group in Ambazonia have potential to be better. Even the worst group, just because we disagree, should not mean we have become enemies. Or it doesn't mean we should therefore be unpatriotic and put partisanship first in whatever we must do, especially during this wartime. Patriotism, nationalism, and Ambazonian first should be our guiding principle. Kapo Daniel, signing off.